Build Safe is a tool for building out applications using Nix. So it uses the power of Nix to build the application without you actually knowing the complexities of Nix. It mainly focuses on getting the supply chain security right and eliminating the CVE fatigue. So Nix is a 20 year old plus technology that is focusing on reproducible builds and we think reproducible builds is a very big thing. But the complexity of Nix ecosystem has restricted its adoption and that's where build safe comes in. It's all about making the supply chain software compliance easy so that you can actually choose the right set of packages for your deployments with the CVE knowledge attached to a particular package from the 90,000 plus Nix repositories creating high quality s bombs and provenance for the supply chain security developer centering eliminating the cve fatigue are some of the features of build safe with build safe you get a per project development shell which is bsf developed there are no version conflicts with the system dependencies no dependency hell no containers so there is no docker file nothing like that and build safe lets you browse the entire collection of 90000 plus packages with CVE and license information and you can browse the multiple version for the package that you want to use on build or runtime. It lets you update the dependencies to the latest patches with one single command. It produces minimal dependencies for app by default. Lower attack surface means less vulnerable software. High quality s bombs given the US EU regulation which is important and in coming years will be mandatory for all size of companies. SLSA provenance to build system that hasn't been tampered with. Let's dive into a demo of a simple Golang app and see how build safe works. This is a simple Go app. For example, go run main.go. And if we go here, localhost 8080. So this is a simple app where you can add and delete the names. And what we are going to do is we will try to build it, build the artifact and everything using build safe. I have already BSF CLI installed. There are downloaded instructions that you can follow the quick start guide. So what we'll do is first BSF in it, which initiates, which checks the language. So right now it supports Python, JavaScript, Rust and Go. So it checks the language and creates the files which are required, which are the Nix files and the BSF.hcl file that has the skeleton of what all packages are needed and then the next files for running it as next shell. So now if I do ls, I will see a bsf.hcl file which contains some of the information about the packages required at the development and the runtime and the go module and then the bsf directory will be having the plate files. The next step is uh, we do git add that is required for the next sandboxing and then we do BSF build. If you see, uh, it created a BSF result directory and you can simply run the artifact. And if I go again, I refresh, it is running low. And also we can do BSF develop and it will start a new shell, a new Nix development environment for the developers. So it creates the environment and then you can do the work and exit. Also, BSF have some, have some other commands where you can scan for a given package name with its vulnerabilities. You can build an OCI artifact and you can update the dependencies as well. You can search for the packages also. Also, BuildSafe has created some attestations when you did the BuildSafe build and you can also see these attestations in the BSF results file, which is the attestation in doodoo.json. For example, you can have the BSF ATT command used, attestation command used and predicate type SPDX and you can see all the metadata and information over here. So supply chain security matters and building a collaborative tool for the developers and the security teams building the security left is pretty much important and BuildSafe helps you do that with the help of Nix and also easing out the complexities of Nix. Join our Discord and let us know what do you think about BuildSafe and how would you want to use it or what features would you like to see in build safe. This is the right time to get involved in this particular ecosystem and also um, think about the security in the right way.